Hey everybody, Gary with Basecamp Trading. Let's take a look at how we were trading crude this morning. Came in, getting ready to come into the London session, pull up our 240 minute chart like we always do. You can see that crude is very bearish. I mean, this is making lower highs, lower lows. Had this big push down in the Asian session, hit significantly undervalued on our value charts. We know we hit significantly undervalued that we're gonna need some pullback time and consolidation time. These are four hour bars. So we had a couple hours worth of pullback and then another four hours worth of consolidation. When we came into the London session, we were on this bar right here. It had not triggered this bar. This bar set up a bear flag that would trigger underneath 5281. We were on this bar right here. This bear flag had not triggered yet, but we were aware that if crude made another leg down, we were going to have a 240 minute bear flag underneath 5281. You can see on the 30 minute chart, this was where um, crude made the big push down during the Asian session, hit significantly undervalued on the 30 minute chart. And then you can see you had the pullback and then just went into consolidation. Crude is just sideways all the way through this area right here. We came in, we were actually on this bar right here. We had a bull flag set up on the 30 minute chart. This is not a good bull flag setup, however. We're in consolidation. The 5 EMA is below the 13 EMA. There's no lead up into the trigger of this flag. It did end up triggering back to the upside and on this bar and it pushed up as high as 53.16 where our previous pivot high was pulled back and then it actually became a failed bull flag. This flag failed under 52.85 and you can see our gravity line right here we had well-defined support at 52.81 which is where that 240 minute bear flag was going to trigger so we had a failed bull flag on the 30 minute chart getting ready to tr trigger a bear flag on the 240 minute chart and so we're thinking crude is probably going to drop and at base camp trading we have lots of different tools that we can use and you can see this is our gravity lines chart and you can see that crude came right up here you had this significant pivot high when we came in this morning we actually looked at the Unirenko chart and we knew we had a significant pivot high up there at 53.16 and a significant pivot low down here at 52.47 and crude came right up here 53.16 again put in this double top just underneath our ruby line and started to pull back and this is where we triggered the failed bull flag on a 30 minute chart and also triggered the bear flag on the 240 minute chart we were talking about if we broke this pivot right here which was at uh, 52.85, which is where the bull flag was going to fail. We said that we were going to break the uptrend if we were to break below that previous pivot. And we ended up doing that. We triggered the failed 30 minute bull flag, triggered the 240 minute bear flag and started pushing down. And you can see our gravity lines are kind of our roadmap for trading. And we knew that we had a significant line down here at 52.40. This is a ruby line. And see how thick it is? That means it's a hot line. That means that's an area that price has gone to numerous times. And so your expectations are that you're going to go down and at least visit that line. So we're just trailing down below, trailing our pivot right here. And crude just continued to head lower, head lower. Actually, you broke right through this 52.40 zone. Broke through it pretty quickly actually so at that time we're looking for this low down here we have a cluster at 52.15 and 52.13 so we're looking for a potential low down into this area as you can see on this first initial push down we didn't actually quite get there it did drop 70 ticks again I pulled my runner off at 60 ticks I didn't get all 70 ticks but I got 60 ticks for $600 pulled back to the ruby line you can see it just kind of consolidated on that line made one more push down and actually hit our downside target for the morning so as you can see we have different tools that we can use at base camp trading for tr trading our gravity lines like I said this is kind of our roadmap indicator it kind of lets us know the areas that uh, we're looking to travel to 
again, we had a hotline down here. We had reasonable expectations, since we had triggered a 240 minute chart to the downside, had a failed bull flag on the 30 minute chart, which was making the 30 minute chart in confluence to the downside with the 240 minute chart. And we know those are the times where we can get some larger moves. So again, we knew it was reasonable to expect to come down into this hotline. And then ultimately we were thinking maybe we were going to get down here again on the initial push didn't quite make it. It did eventually get down there, but not on the initial push, but still nice short trade in crude oil this morning.